Hey guys, welcome back to another Mech Spotlight. Today we're taking a look at the Hellcat. This is the hero version, the Angel, and this it comes from the mod Yet Another Goddamn Mech. Uh, this thing is pretty interesting. Uh, most of the mechs that come from this mod uh, have uh, a lot of, how can I put this, really oversized weapons on the models. <laughs> so you will see this one is no different. Um, there's a few issues I have with the, with the, uh, mod, yet another god dang mech. Um, they, there's a, a couple of the newer mechs, I think they're the newer ones, uh, have some issues in game and whatnot. So, I don't know if I'll keep using this mod that long, but I really wanted to play a Hellcat, and, uh, this mod has it. So, uh, as you can see, I went with the Royal Cavaliers first, uh, paint pattern. This comes with the same mod. Uh, so you'll get this with it. The model is is pretty cool though. This is one of the better looking models from the mod in my opinion. Uh, the arms are a little bit oversized. I think it would look a lot better if they were a little bit smaller. Um, but overall, it's a cool mod. You even got like these little teeth hanging off the front of the uh, center torso, the cockpit area. Uh, so yeah, fun stuff. Uh, this cannon here, I think, is supposed to be over here. Uh, like this one is, but for some reason it's in the middle there. I don't know, maybe that was intentional. It does look like that is also a, a hard point there. Um, it would be cool if it was symmetrical, so you had it on each, but whatever. We're all here for the gameplay, right? So let's take a look at what we got here. Uh, we'll go through the quirks real quick. First, you got clan, so this gives you all of your basic clan uh, bonuses here. Uh, enhanced IR and thermals, top speed modifier, turn speed modifier, acceleration modifier. Uh, you get sensor range, you get weapon lock-on timer, you get armor repair cost and structure cost, both increased. Uh, upkeep cost is also increased. Incoming heat damage is higher. Uh, weapon spread radius reduced. Uh, incoming damage to armor and structures both reduced. And you get built-in case. Uh, so overall, clan mechs are quite a bit better than standard intersphere mechs. Uh, this quirk more or less represents that. Minimal arms, you get some armor and structure bonuses to the arms there. Uh, extended torso twist, pretty self-explanatory. You get a plus 15% angle modifier on torso twist. Improved communications. Uh, this is giving you sensor range bonus, both for yourself and for the lance, which is pretty cool. A nimble jumper, jump jet uh, bonuses there. So uh, use jump jets if you can. Uh, protected actuators, this is just some leg armor and uh, incoming damage to the structure on the legs is also reduced. Uh, Hellcat hero armor, so this is giving your hero uh, durability. Uh, you, it, it's all just armor, nothing to structure there, so, but some nice bonuses for a 50 ton mech. Uh, and then we're getting to the angel quirk itself for the hero, uh, for this hero variant. You're getting additional sensor range bonus for the whole lance. Weapon lock on time modifier again. So this is on top of the clan quirk. Uh, and then you're getting energy heat generation is reduced. Machine gun damage is increased. Machine gun optimal range and max range is increased. And Artemis missile spread and cooldown are both decreased. And this also gives you case two, reduced component internal explosion damage to two. So all some pretty good quirks when it's all said and done. Um, Obviously, when we're looking at the weapons here, we're going with machine guns. You got bonuses to machine guns, Artemis missiles, and energy. Um, so, this is more or less the exact build that the mech comes with stock, the Angel uh, Hero variant. Uh, all I did was upgrade everything to Tier 5s, and then I changed some of the internals around and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, I, I did also add an extra two lasers. So it comes with, I believe in the beginning, it was just the two lasers, and I think... Uh, no, it had three lasers, one on each arm, one on the right torso. Uh, I decided to go with four lasers because I freed up a little bit of tonnage uh, and some slots, but we'll go over that in a second. So basically we're running four heavy machine gun array fours. Uh, so you got 16 heavy machine guns, essentially. Um, you know, these things are typical machine guns, low damage, high rate of fire ballistic weapon that produces no heat. Machine gun arrays are linked, multiple machine guns of the same type, allowing for more firepower per hard point. Heavy machine guns deal 60% more damage versus standard machine guns, but they only have two-thirds of the range and weigh twice as much. All clan machine guns deal 10% less damage than their inner sphere counterpart. So you're doing less damage with the clan versions, but that's okay. They're lighter weight. 
Uh, deals 50% less damage versus mech armor, so be aware of that. Versus armor, you're doing less damage. Uh, but can be extremely lethal if mounted in mass, which obviously we are doing here. Um, so, let me see. Yeah, nothing else there matters too much. Uh, it does fire 2,400 rounds per minute, so times four, uh, you know, gives you, you're running basically 10,000 10, rounds per minute. Uh, a little bit less, but close enough. Then we also have these LRM5 Artemis 4s, uh, clan versions. Uh, again, this is taking advantage of the quirk that we have for Artemis Missile Spread and Cooldown. Uh, and then I already said we have the, the four clan ER medium lasers. Pretty good weapon loadout. Obviously, it's closer range other than the LRM5s. Um, so it's more of a brawler build. But look at the speed. 103 kph because we're running a 300 engine core with a double XL. Um... It's fast, and this is actually the speed. The 300 is the engine that comes stock with this variant, with the the hero variant, the angel. Um, so I didn't really change that at all. I, I thought about going a little bit less, um, but I actually like having having the speed there. Uh, it did not have jump jets originally. I added an improved jump jet there. Um, what else was added? So let's talk about ammo. Got two double bins of machine gun ammo plus another single bin of machine gun. Uh, LRM ammo, I went with just a single ton of ammo. Uh, I, I do run out of ammo with that single ton. I figure I, I use it until it's all used up and then I'm good. Uh, usually the mission is towards the end by that point anyways. Um, you could probably find a way to add some more ammo on here if you really wanted to. Uh, maybe drop the jump jet, add the ammo. That's Actually, I did have more ammo on here originally, but I dropped it in order to fit the jump jet on. Um... But yeah, other than that, it's pretty straightforward build. I added a probe because it really helps with the LRMs. Uh, we got powered sensors. Uh, you really could go with, with, I meant to change that to sniper. It doesn't really matter. Um, go with whatever sensors you want because with the probe, it's good enough as it is. Um, FCS energy. The ballistic FCS doesn't help with the machine guns. Uh, so we went with the energy here. You could also do missile if you wanted to use focus more on the missiles uh and then a small advanced cockpit because we had to save some space uh patchwork was just to save a little bit of space at the end i had one crit slot left over royal double heatsink kit standard uh ultralight stabilized gyro saving weight again uh double xl engine saving weight and then a couple double heat sinks in the engine um that's pretty much it uh max armor everywhere except the head and the legs you know it's it's a really fun build. If you like speed, uh, hit and run tactics, ambushing, all of that is what I'm doing with this build. Um, particularly hit and run tactics are really good. Uh, if you can pick off enemies that have strayed away from their lance, uh, you know, move in really quick, circle of death, uh, machine guns, lasers, blazing. You can change it with the yet another revamped weapons mod. You can change the lasers to short burst if you prefer that. So they have shorter range on short burst. So I leave them on, on normal uh, at longer range. And then when I'm moving in and, you know, pulling a circle of death maneuver on an enemy or something like that, I switch to the short burst. That way I'm pumping out maximum DPS. Um, the missiles, they're clan LRMs. So there's no minimum range on them. You can be firing those constantly as well. Uh, the probe helps keep you keep a lock on even when you don't have line of sight So that's really nice for softening up enemies before you move in for the kill um, Like I said speed is your friend use speed to your advantage hit and run tactics ambushing tactics uh, Things like that are gonna be really really well executed in a mech like this lots of fun to play uh, I like the Hellcat anyways. That's why I was looking for this mech in particular to play it uh, I know a lot of other people do as well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this build. Enjoy the gameplay footage. Let me know what you think, and I'll catch you next time.
players will be pleased. 